Moving on to Gutsman stage, it starts out with some fairly harmless mats. There's an easy pattern to dodge them every time, and then you move on to the Oh My God platforms. These platforms are the bane of Mega Man players, more than the Yellow Devil himself. The timing is easy once you know it, but if you don't know it, this section is nigh on impossible. Many new players just simply skip it with a magnet beam uh, by doing a Lech Man and then doing a Lech Man again. You can destroy the Gutsman blocks with a Lech Beam for some reason. Moving on to the Heli Choppers, these things are a lot worse than they appear because if you don't get them immediately and the timing is a little odd, then they will find you and they will get you and they will make you sad face. These are the Picket Men. The Picket Men are what I lost the vast majority of my uh, tries to which was about 50 overall. This one in particular, you'll see some shenanigans with him later, because it's so easy to make him respawn, just like that. I don't, there wasn't one there. That's the last you see of the Picket Men until Mega Man powered up. Um, or, I suppose, other remakes of one, but they're never used again, and I'm glad for that because they suck. Now, that free life there is kind of hard to get. Um, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. Big Eyes! Now that life is hard to get because sometimes Mega Man just does not want to get into that little part where you can jump down to it. You know, I just flew right past it. I don't know why that is. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I feel like I do the same thing every time. Almost at the end here, up, up to Guts Man. Guts Man is kinda hard if you don't know what you're doing. Now his earthquake attack, you either want to dodge perfectly, like I did right there so you can dodge it, or don't dodge it at all. If you just stand still, you will have, and you stand on the opposite side of the screen as him, you will have recovered from the tremor um, by the time he throws the block, every time. But if you jump and you time it badly, and you get uh, like that, and he throws a block, then you're screwed, then you get hit. And he still takes two lines of damage, so he's not that bad, and I'm able to finish the level with less problems with Bomb Man, though I do say Guts Man stage is a lot harder. Uh, moving on to a couple outtakes. This first one coming up in a second, this is just weird. This is almost an entire run. Um, I almost succeeded on this run, actually. But you, weird things happened on this one. Um, I got so lucky until I got to the end. Oops. Oh, that, was a that, that was a death. I died to death. I forgot about that. I <laughs> just, that's that's what happens when you go to these platforms, you don't look at them anymore, you, you just memorize the timing. I think this is where the weird things happen. Um, oh, no, no, I just died. Damn it, I thought I was going to be doing better at editing. I'm I'm lazy, I guess. Oh well. This, this has to be it. This, this is where the weird things start to go down. Everything looks normal, I'm playing around with the auto-fire button, and, oh, no, this, no, this isn't it. Damn it! Well, you get to see another pathetic death. No, no, yeah, there, there it was. Did you see it? It was weird. It wasn't as weird as I remember, though. But yeah, I just stepped off one and miraculously landed on another, and then miraculously dodged two heli choppers that I missed. I don't know how. And the rest of this goes by pretty smoothly. And uh, just more picket men that I hate. The, the time, the way I have to do it is so picky. It, um, and the hitboxes on the pickaxes, terrible. Oh, and there I go, spawning another one on screen. That happens all the time. And uh, at, at the end, you will see how I vented my rage on respawning picket man. Anyway, the rest of this goes by fairly normally. Uh, it gives me a bit of a better chance to talk about the big guy. Now, big guys in this game are the worst things for both casual players and the no damage. See, right there, got the life. What, what? Maybe that's why I died. The life curse. Anyway, big eyes. They take way too many hits to kill. I'm a good button masher. And I just barely got that one. And that is a pretty good situation. But oftentimes, you just don't have enough time to shoot it down. And you have to hope that when you decide to run under it, it jumps high. It's luck. It is nothing but luck. And it's bad. That's why... That's why I can't do Iceman. That's why I could not do Iceman legitimately. And here we go to Gutsman, what looks to be a successful battle, about three quarters of the way through. Wow, and I experienced some massive lag there. Um, nothing particularly exciting about this battle. I just left it in to pad out the video length. And I think I just demonstrated there, I wasn't paying attention, but I think I just demonstrated there how if you just sit there and take the earthquake, you'll have recovered in time. So that's not a bad strategy. However, it's not as reliable. If, he, if he's close 
and you just take it, you will get it. Uh, so you can only do that trick when he's on the right side of the screen. Uh, the worst thing the Guts Man can do to you in a battle, and I think he does this, is crowd up against you on the left side when he jumps up on the rocks. If he does that, you're completely at the mercy of his AI. Right here. Nothing I... well, I could have done something about that, so I just rage killed him. But I would very unlikely have beaten him, if even if I hadn't gotten hit stupidly. Anyway, moving on to something just completely shenanigans. I'm not going to talk much, I'm going to put music over most of this, but, uh... I got sick of the Picket Man. And this is how I deal with it. <laughs>